Run. Oh! Oh, squid! Oh, squid! All right, this is Squidward Suicide. Squidward's finally had enough of playing the clarinet. There will be multiple jump score, jump scares, loud noises, blood, may contain flashing lights, and is not suitable for people with epilepsy. This game is not suitable for children or those that experience suicidal thoughts or self-harming. This game is based off of a number one favorite lost cartoon episode on the Chris Creepypasta web by Kyle Curley. Curly Games. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea and wants to fucking die? Squidward Tentacle! Just just Superb voice acting. Walk to the light to start the episode. Is that me? To the light, he said. The light. Go to this light that we noticed the first time. Fuck your light switch. Find. The key card to unlock the door and discover the unknown noise. We got a stamina bar. Oh, shit. It's Squidward's paintings. Squidward? These are all the employee badges that SpongeBob lost. Ring a ding ding! Yo, Squidward looks to fucking depressed as fuck, dude. He looks fucking done. Wait, what? Open! Did something change? I feel like something changed. I was an intern at Nickelodeon Studios for a year in 2005 for my degree in animation. It wasn't paid, of course. Most internships aren't. But it did have some perks beyond education. To adults, it might not seem like a big one, but most kids at the time would shit themselves over it. Very well. Oh, it worked. Is that you, Squidward? What the? <gasps> Yo, paw cutscene. Yo, he's under the sea for sure now. For realsies. You're in Bikini Bottom. Welcome. Yeah, you're lucky there was this fucking water under the water. It's bloody dark in this place. Find a way out. Directly with the editors and animators, I got to view the new episodes day before they aired. I'll get right to it without giving too many unnecessary details. They had very recently made the SpongeBob movie. The entire staff was somewhat sapped by sapped of creativity, so it took them longer to start up the season. But the delay lasted longer for more upsetting seasons. Well... Maybe ex is that looking at me? I can't tell. Yo, chill, squid. Yo, chill, squid. What? <laughs> I can't play the clarinet. <laughs> Fucking loser. What the hell? Okay. Not too close, Squidward. I don't want to disturb your masterpiece. Please don't chase me. Please, please don't fucking chase me. Please, Squidward. What the fuck? What is that? It's an complete the stage scene and start the ritual. Uh, you heard him. Prepare your ears. At stage C. Who lives under the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Patrick? Yo, Patrick. Fuck. I guess he will now do absolutely nothing. Gentlemen, please keep it up for the one and only Squidward and his There's Spongebob. Yo, your eyes are bloodshot, Squidward. Yo, this is dog shit. Yeah. This is trash. Yeah, you suck, bitch. Big headed bit. All right, we know his motivation. Wait, did he just fucking mind control everybody? Okay. What the fuck is going on? I'm actually at a loss. Find a way to drain the water, then find the lift. I don't know what fucking happened to Squidward. I'll be honest though. Not sure I care either. Squidward was always a dick. He was, I'm just being honest. Wait, did Squidward leave? Where the where'd you where'd he go? Okay, that should do it. What was that? I don't know, Holmes. 
I don't like the sound, though. I'm getting out of here. Squidward. Where's your fucking clothes, Squidward? Just gotta stay out of sight. Out of sight, out of mind. Damn, he's down bad. Damn, Squidward. Curse you, Squidward! <laughs> I'm sorry, Squidward. So we just don't have to get close to him at all. Well, this screams jump scare. Run. Oh! Oh, squid! Oh, squid! Ah! Run! Run! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's close! Get there! God! Oh my god, don't look back! We made it. Don't listen to him, I'm watching you. Okay? I don't need an answer, bro. About five seconds after the second photo played, Squidward went silent. As did all sound. Like, it was when the scene started. But his tentacles down. Well, he <laughs> he's waving. He's waving. His eyes were now done with hyperrealism, like others were in the beginning of the episode. There were bleeding, bloodshots, and Paul standing. He just stared at the screen, as if watching the viewer. After ten seconds, he started slobbering. This time, not covering his eyes. Okay. The sound was bloody loud, like static loud. Most fear including of all this, his slobbering was mixed with screams. And I never want to see a second part of that again. I don't know what is happening or what is going on. But all I need to say, you have to continue the episode if you want to complete the ritual. My name is Curly. And you there, mate, standing in the living room looking around next to the phone. Yeah. I'm here to help you get out of this mess. Okay, based on the creepy pop up, creep pop 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 pop, made by Kyle Curley. Shit, Kyle Curley, pretty good. Full game coming in September. There you have it, another one. Barjaz, you're listening to the ninety-three point seven, the Jams.